What's up, guys? It's the Universe. This is going to be episode 13 of the Steven Bomb Steven Universe thing with a whole bunch of uh, uh, diamonds and amethysts and lots of other stuff. Just head off the link in the description below to check it out. Uh, no introductions for this. I just want to watch this, get this uh, get this done because I'm pretty sure if I go back online, I'm going to be spoiled anyway. So right now, I'm saving myself. Three, two, one now. <laughs> No, no joke. This episode went by really quickly. I think because the pacing was so good. Uh, okay, so we just got what goes on here in the, in the zoo. And you got Steven getting here. I don't, okay, I'm not entirely sure how long Greg was in here. Alright, when it comes to him, the hint saying he's asleep scheduled, that or I missed it. Which is, again, completely possible because when I do reactions like this, I miss like crucial details of certain stuff. But he's been here for a bit. He's gotten acquainted with most of the residents, if not all of the residents, if that's all of the residents that's there. And we got to see what the humans have been going, been doing since the time they were taken, uh, since the time they were taken. This new generation knows nothing about the, you know, past generations or other things, and they and now are just are grown to the custom of what they were born into, which makes perfect sense. Uh, something I expected. Uh, as for... Greg and Steven coming in here, uh, them breaking off the balance of what goes on, especially when it comes to the choosing, uh, not being chosen to put together by a voice, a talking voice from the sky, or talking voice in your ears, uh, 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 eerie stuff, and Greg refusing. I, I like, uh, again, Greg, best character, best best dad, best everything, not letting, not wanting, they wanted his son, even though his son clearly stated he would rather be hit, which, you know, in terms, in terms, Steven can tank attacks that should hurt a, a, a kid his age but since he's part gem he he could take he could take a beating so basically say greg punching steven would make a lot more sense but since greg is such a great dad he's not gonna do that and i love greg for it and having steven punch him instead even though steven can destroy his dad if he really put an all-out punch into him yeah mm. <laughs> Oh, I also love the subtle, uh, the subtleness in in all this, the subtle changes that you see within their, their culture, uh, in the in the zoo. It's like it's basically, as I said in the reaction, it's like a a, a gem gave the gem that runs this entire facility, or you know the AI or whatever the heck runs this facility, a, a list of all the things humans are known to be doing, and they just went off with that. They had they eat. They bathe some. They bathe and they eat, bathe. They get into relationships to reproduce and stuff like that. So we have to continue doing that over and that and just like that. And I also like how instantaneously, like Greg said, we can choose whoever we want to be. And then all the residents got to Greg. Greg is that awesome. Guy, girl, rock, gem, whatever it is. You cannot resist Greg. And I, you know what? I'm falling for Greg too. He's a great guy. So whatever. Uh. So, uh, well, that being said, it's a great episode, great episode, uh, and seeing that now they got caught by the Amethyst. Can I talk about the Amethyst right quick? From the first time we see an Amethyst, they pull a joke, which, you know, it's kind of like out there, but the Amethyst pulls a joke. And, and it, it just meeting the expectations of the of the gems, as soon as the rubies came by, as soon as they showed up, you thought they were going to be like, a, like a, a real big threat. But the only threat that they caused was to themselves for how like lacking in knowledge that they have when it comes to certain scenarios of what they were doing. The only main major threats when it comes to gems was pretty much just Lapis and Jasper. Lapis with her uncontrolled uh, methods of power and abilities when it comes to the water is being able to take the entire ocean into make it into a giant pillar that could reach space. That's impressive. And you got Jasper who is, who is undeniably a big time, you know, powerhouse in what she was doing in the in the course of the series. You got Peridot, while not that big of a threat, she was just more of a runner the entire way through because she just wanted to get back home, for God's sakes. But in the end, the, the only two major threats when it comes to coming down from homeworld to here was just Jasper and, and Lapis. Uh, as for the rubies, they came down, and then the worst thing they got done was a baseball game. Ooh. And stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, they were a big threat when one tried to literally kill Steven and all, but you, you know what I mean when it comes to that. Uh, but when we got to the Amethyst, they played a joke. They're, they're meant to be, like, relatively dumb compared to what I've been seeing with their, how they're being treated. And as soon as they're meant to come in to the facility to calm the humans down, they're not aggressive. They're just compassionate. They're trying to, they say, hey, come on, talk about it. They, they understand this sort of stuff. 
it's either because it's how they were made, you know, they're kind of with that personality, sort of like Amethyst that we currently have, you know, just having that personality, that, or they just been around the humans so much, they kind of just adapted that type, the type of style and personality, and that's why they're like this. Either way, I like these Amethysts and how they are, and I'm pretty sure, there are two things can happen. This Amethyst that already sees that these two are like the big hindrance anomaly of what's going on in the facility and they're taking them over to be something or it's like what we're kind of thinking is that this amethyst is going to take them to our amethyst who I'm almost entirely sure was found out to be not the type of amethyst that you're used to and does stuff with her. I'm almost entirely sure that the amethyst if they even find out that she's a defective amethyst or you know perfect in her own way amethyst they won't find anything of it because they're still all the same type of gem. So, well, that being said, we're going to find out in the episode, so see you guys tomorrow for that, and uh, hope you're having a nice Steven Bomb as much as I am, and that's it. Again, I'm going to continue to say that, I guess. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.